Hi Sagittarius, this is your reading with me for the second half of April. We're going to see what is coming through and what messages I can give to you. So just wanted to mention actually that if you wanted to uh, win a free reading with me, check out the description box below since I do giveaways every single month. If you would like to purchase um, any you know personal services with me, they are listed down below and also on my website shopmoonlightguidance.com. There's um, personal tarot readings, there's rituals to manifest different areas of your life, black magic removal, there's um oh what do you call them healing healing work <laughs> healing work and of course then also on my website there are the thousands of five star reviews also on the intention items which you can find at the bottom of my website these items are meditated with and staged and there's bracelets necklaces anklets pom-poms tassels embroidered cards which you can put under your pillow your wallet or your purse there's also sage bundles candles tassels sorry teas teas and tassels yes um and therefore various areas of your life so if you're interested you know check it all down below uh, out all down below if you're interested and let's begin so Sagittarius second half of April what oh what do we have we have we have things we have things coming out and it looks pretty exciting actually it looks really exciting I feel like these are things that you have been wanting you've been wishing for but be careful okay be careful because honestly oh wow there you go there you go look be careful what you wish for, because you just might get it. I'm just to quote the Pussycat Dolls. <laughs> Are they still around? Do they still sing? I, I don't know what's happening there, but anyways. Um, that song, you know, just gets stuck, stuck, stuck. Okay, so Ace of Cups, wild card. I'm going to put all of these in the sort of middle row, because they kind of came out together, and then those came out together. So what I am specifically seeing here, okay, with the moon, is be careful what you wish for. I will give you a piece of advice, which you don't have to take. You really don't, okay? If, if you want to bin my advice, absolutely not a problem. When you do manifesting, okay, you may think you know what you want, but you may not actually know what is best for you. So when you manifest a really amazing thing, to throw out into the universe when you're manifesting. Yes, of course, you know, you can tell the universe, I'd like more stability, I'd like more money, I would like this thing and this thing. And some of you may even think about, you know, wanting your commitment with a specific person and being with a specific person. But at the end of it, just throw in this little line, okay? I want what is for my highest good. I would like what is for my highest good. I am living in my highest good. This is my highest good. Because your highest good is something that you may not even recognize and you may not even realize, right? You might think, oh, if I have this, this, and this, I'll be happy. But actually, you may not realize that the universe wants to give you more. The universe will be like, oh, okay, but then you want this. Okay, fine, we'll just give you this then instead of perhaps 10 times more the abundance that they had planned for you. Okay, so the universe will, will give to you. But I think what's really incredible here is be careful what you wish for. Okay, because some of you might be wishing um, for certain situations to manifest, which you know, can manifest and they can be okay, but what if there's something better, you know? So I think what's really important here with the Queen of Swords is just, um, you know, just just know that what you want will absolutely come to fruition. Second half of this month, there are definitely opportunities coming your way romantically as well. The, there are some of you who are wishing for someone who's not treating very well, sorry, treating you very well to come forward towards you. And Again, you know, it's it's that sense of like, is that really the best for you? Is that really the best that you can do? Is that really the best that this this lifetime can offer you? These are all things to really consider when you're trying to manifest things that hurt you. Manifest things that um, are not so uh, giving to you. I think this is really, really important. The Hierophant actually shows here, okay, that you will gain more commitment and stability in the second half of April, which means that there are some beautiful opportunities that can be presented to you to give you more financial stability and balance. You can have a promotion, a raise, and I think that's really exciting, but the universe is also saying, and the spirit guides are saying, look out into the world, look at the things that you actually want to do, look at what drives you, um, makes you feel passionate and excited in this world, you know, how is it that you want to be treated, do you want commitment, stability, fulfillment, joy, love, and then look at the people around you, do they give you that, 
And if not, are there some changes that need to be made there? So I think that what's really important is aligning your wishes to what you actually want, not what you think you want, but what you actually want. This is really, really important because I'm telling you guys, Sagittarius, there are going to be some astrological transitions that happen, not just in the second half of April, but also in May that are going to benefit you in terms of the things that you want and the things that you want to manifest. And so your wishes will come to fruition. But what I will say is throw in that line at the end, okay, about your highest good, because the universe knows what you actually really would flourish with and what you would absolutely love. And you may not see that right now, but the world card here shows that you are going to have a lot of opportunities that will come to you. Some of you here will be building businesses. Some of you are starting to build on projects. You're starting to plant seeds and these seeds are going to flourish beyond your wildest imagination. The chariot also shows here traveling with the world as well. The moon here shows that there are so many hidden things that you are not aware of that are going to manifest in your life that when it happens, you're going to think to yourself, oh my god, like whoa, didn't even believe that this could happen. So the ace of cups here definitely goes to show that, of course, make your wishes. You know, you, you know where you are in your life right now better than anyone else. And there are certain things, of course, that you want, but also that the universe is going to give you more. So let's not shut that avenue down because some of you might be like, I just want this. I just want this. I just want this. You know, stubborn energy, which can be seen with the Hierophant, okay? Because Taurus does have that stubborn energy there. So you can, you can, you know, kind of embody that, but then you might be shutting out other avenues. So just don't shut anything out is my, my, my biggest, uh, thing here. Because sometimes when you, you know, you really want something, you can say to yourself, I just want this. I don't want anything else. I don't care about it. But actually, you know, that's, can be, can be a bit overwhelming to do that. Um, four of swords. What I think is also beautiful is that there's more peace of mind coming to you in the second half because these opportunities come your way. So especially if you're, you know, looking for a job, yes, there can be some opportunities that come onto your table. You can have, um, some opportunities to do some interviews, especially if you're looking for some people romantically as well. Yes, there can be people that you talk to here that really do interest you. There is definitely a lot of interest that is being garnered, garnered, gained, gained, I would say. And the King of Cups here shows that there's definitely some very emotionally mature people around you that want to uh, progress things with you romantically. So there isn't just one. You have multiple options when it comes to love. There is not just one person for you. Um, the thing that I'm actually seeing is that you will actually choose who you want to be with. And so, again, it's really about choosing <laughs> some that aligns to to you um and makes you feel good not just you know oh they made me feel good for like two months you know or and then they and then they suddenly started to like ghost me it, it's a real sense of like this person is consistent and they will be consistent for you know a long period of time that like, yes there can be issues and challenges that happen in relationships and then things do get better but you know if the person consistently hurts you then you know you've got to reevaluate some things here but um the fool definitely shows that there are new opportunities and ideas also coming your way so creative ideas creative potential that you're embarking on four of wands shows that this is such an auspicious time for you because the things that you wish for in these next two weeks are going to manifest for you and that is why i'm saying be careful be careful these next two weeks are so powerful for you astrologically Sagittarius I have not said this to any other sign because it's the most powerful for you here that what you are thinking can physically manifest can literally manifest so just I keep saying the same thing again but I just I have to tell you that and so the best thing that you can really do is say to yourself you know I, I want what's for my highest good because honestly that is the universe giving you what is truly, truly best for you. And it can blow your mind and it can shock you. Some of you, I, I feel, will be kind of, um, you know, just wanting what you want. And that's okay, because, you know, at the end of the day, you'll get what you want. But you might be disappointed in the long term, you know, thinking like, oh, I wish I didn't actually wish for this. Um, it's one of those things. But I do see here that we have a real sense of progress with the two sixes there of financial stability coming your way, opportunities in regards to work, money, better friendships as well that are going to manifest. The next two weeks are really about continuing to do what you're doing work-wise, continuing to put in that effort and also being um, patient because essentially, you know, as you're waiting for responses, as you're waiting for things to come your way, uh, there is a real sense here as well of sometimes, um, you know, wanting it all to happen in the next two weeks. But remember, you're planting the seeds for what you want to manifest and what is going to happen for you in these next two weeks. And your thoughts are very powerful in these next two weeks. And that's what I'm seeing here is that things you think about and the things that you want can quite literally manifest for you even after April. So it's really about, you know, um, 
yeah, it's really about thinking what you want uh, and, and what makes you happy in these next two weeks because that's what's going to manifest for you in the future. Um, and I think that's really quite significant because your thoughts can manifest at a certain time when you think about something with your birth chart and your energy, things can manifest and that's happening in the in these two weeks. So it's a really interesting reading. I don't think I've ever done a reading like this where I'm like trying to like literally give you advice and telling you like what what is best to do. But I mean, here we go. It's Moonlight Guidance and um, yeah. I think searching for opportunities, planting those seeds, taking care of yourself is just going to show you those opportunities as the weeks go by. Okay, so there's someone here, okay, who's not intentionally ignoring you. They're just keeping to themselves. I feel like this person can also manifest, okay, in these two weeks as well. Um, this can be someone who's been hot and cold towards you, but I see here that it says, I want, I sometimes want to surprise you at your home. So they are thinking about doing more towards you. And that is just something that we are picking up on. But I feel here that the universe is also saying that you do deserve so much more than what you are being given. So that's another thing as well. All right, so Sagittarius, this is your reading. Of course, if this resonates with you, let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Check out the description box below for information on personal services, free reading giveaway, and of course, intention items, which are on my website. And take care, everyone, and I will see you all very soon. Bye. Oh, I also have TikTok and Instagram. If anyone wants to follow me on that, feel free to do so. It's linked down below.